that the uh, 20 mil Nama Crown staples. I'm going to plane some timber, some, just some pine to go on the face, same thickness as this. Probably just plane it square and then I can't get it the wrong way around. On the sides I think I'm still going to go, I'm going to leave it at 20mm and there'll be a slight step back on this piece and that piece. Uh, I've just sat it in place. As you saw the floor wasn't level so I'm just trying to work out whether to level it up. I'll measure down the side if it's twisted on the side if it's if, you know if it's tapering that can look worse than tapering across the bottom so put a couple of bits of two by one on the bottom it's going to be a another rail you know like all the frame so that'll cover that little gap well nearly cover it and then I've got a, like a pencil round skirting that's going to go around the front I decided not to level it up because that's parallel that's going to be straight it'll be wedge shaped if I leveled it up same there and I want a little bit more depth for seat and I need to cover the floor so I've got it up to be one depth so I'll put a button along the back wall here put a line use that put a line like that take this out and screw a button to the wall Right, that one went into nothing and rather than screwing the button on and then trying to find another hole I'm going to... Something solid there. So... Got a pencil mark. So I know that's good, so I'll So now I can screw that back, screw it underneath in there. Could put pocket hole screws in the top, but it's easier just to bang a couple of screws through there. Right, scribing again. I just put a pin in this and I put it flush with the outside there. Because this is parallel, that means that that distance there is the same as that distance there. 
So what I would need to do is set my calipers to that distance. Should be the same as that. And then I'll scribe down there. Nothing on that. A lot of scribing in my job, isn't it? Making things fit. So I'll cut that bit out. That should go back with this phase flush against there. And I've done the same at that side, so I'll scribe that one as well. And I'm not going to panic too much about going over there, I'll just cut it so that it does go over. The condition of the paintwork in this place. Paint a paint in it, but it didn't sand anything. So it's big lumps. I should have spent a bit more time on the end of this. Filled that. It didn't bother scraping any of the paint off. I scraped most of it off. But it's painted over pins, nails, everything. So this will get bladdered with decorator's cork and just paint it in. These pins are sometimes easier just to pull out from the back. Leave the neat face then. Alright, just cut it out with jigsaw. Alright, this one. That's okay at the bottom there, but I cut the wrong side of the line up here. Should have been cutting to the other side, to the waist side, but it'll be okay. Decorator's cock will get that. And that's quite neat down there. So I can pin and glue these on. And then pin all these ones on. I put one straight across on these rails. And then I cut some little ones when I were back in the shop just to go in between. And one long one on the top. And the top, a bit of skirt. That's pretty much it. I'm just going to have to nibble a bit of the skirting away because I left these 20 mil, but I plain these down to 18, so I'll just nibble a bit of that off. Put. 
Uh, I've got a step on it, don't care, I'll sand that out. Right, to fit this top, scribing again, as you've seen me a thousand times with these tops. When I put it in, it's going to be against these. Now that's 360, should be the same. 363, near enough. So what I'll do is stand it in place. Right, I've measured that. It's the same as that there. So with that hard up against there, that hard up against there, I've set my scribers to the widest point there. And I'll scribe that. Same on there. I'll join that up in a minute. But that'll get cut off like that. Right, so what I've got is that. I'm not worried about that because I've got to scribe it back yet anyway. And it might be slightly off because a line, a distance on an angle is different to flat. But I'll spin it around and do this other end now. But first I need to measure this distance here and mark it here. Right, so that distance across there is that distance there to the pencil line. Set my scribers to that. And I'm going to ignore these for the minute. When I cut it, I'll just cut straight through. Oops, watching my line, not the camera. So I'll cut that. Right, so now I've got that. It's touching here, so it's tight. I've also left my pencil line in. So what I'll do now is I'll take it out and then I'll measure at the back there these pieces, cut them out, cut that out. Then it'll go back against the wall and I can nibble out this end and maybe take a fraction off if I need to. Right, it's not bad. Rushed it a little bit, so I'm out a bit there. It's not too bad. I used a coarse blade in the jigsaw because of the thickness of it. But that's it. I'll put some screws in from underneath and give it a coat of paint. Right, and finally, I'm giving it a good sand. I'm going to put some primer on. This paint isn't mine. See, fingernails. Ah, that's it. Might have been easier to paint the board, put a primer on at least before you put it together. But I'm only giving it a coat of primer. Goodness on my heart. Tomorrow I'll give it a sand, put some cork around it, and maybe give it another coat.